Columnar Storage Columnar Storage for Database Tables is an important factor in optimizing analytic query performance because it drastically reduces the overall disk I.O. requirements and reduces the amount of data you need to load from disk. Let's see in detail. Suppose if I have a table with the columns ID, country name, number of states or provinces and languages. Then the first record as shown in the screenshot with ID 1, country name United States, number of states 50 and language English. So this first record will be stored as one full entry in a row wise. Whereas in a columnar databases, all the column data will be entered at one place, country name at one place, number of states or provinces at one place and languages at one place. So each data will be stored in a block in databases. So whereas in row wise data will be stored in row data will be stored in a block in a columnar database column data will be stored in a block. Let's see here. This is how row based storage is done inside a block. The first record, second record and third record. Whereas in columnar database, the storage is in this fashion. So if a block size is smaller than the size of the record, storage for an entire record may take more than one block in row wise. If block size is larger than the size of a record, storage for an entire record may take less than one block, resulting in an inefficient use of disk space. In online transactional processing applications, most transactions involve frequently reading and writing all of the values for entire records, typically one record or a small number of records at a time. As a result, row storage is optimal for OLTP databases. Columnar Storage Using columnar storage, each data block stores values of a single column for multiple rows. As records enter the system, Amazon Redshift transparently converts the data to columnar storage for each of the columns. Using columnar storage, each data block holds column field values for as many as three times as many records as row-based storage. This means that reading the same number of column field values for the same number of records require a third of the I.O. operations compared to row-wise storage. Using tables with very large number of columns and very large row counts, storage efficiency is even greater. Since each block holds the same type of data, block data can use a compression scheme selected specifically for the column data type, further reducing disk space and I.O. in columnar storage. Row-wise data cannot be compressed as each block has different type of data types. Whereas columnar data can be compressed because the data inside each block is of same data type. The saving in space for storage data on disk also carries over to retrieving and then storing the data in memory. Since many database operations only need to access or operate on one or a small number of columns at a time, you can save memory space by only retrieving blocks for columns you actually need for a query. A query that uses 5 columns will only need to read about 5% of the data contained in the table. This savings is repeated for possibly billions or even trillions of records for large databases. In contrast, a row-wise database would read the blocks that contain the 95 unneeded columns as well. Typically, database block sizes ranges from 2 KB to 32 KB. Amazon Redshift uses a block size of 1 MB which is more efficient and further reduces the number of I.O. requests and need to perform any database loading or other operations that are part of query execution.